KHAU meteorologist Kim Castro here talking about some phenomenal rain chances that we've got this coming work week, some of which could really squeeze out some moisture because they could be tropical in nature. Let's talk about the development of the potential tropical cyclone that could be forming over the Gulf by the middle of the week. So virtually no rain expected this week and slim to very little rain chances. And Sunday's rain chance, in fact, is going to be overnight into Monday. But then check out Monday, 50%, 60 again for Tuesday, repeating on Wednesday. And notice the rain starts to ramp up and it lingers into the end of the week. Models are suggesting we could be counting this rainfall by the inches. One, two, maybe three, potentially four inches of rainfall. There's especially a bullseye there over Colorado and Wharton County. And the reason for that, there could be a mechanism, a system over the Gulf that garners all of the strength and all of the energy that's been brewing over the last few weeks, making that Gulf water very warm and very susceptible to see some tropical formation if the lifting mechanism, the little seedling, so to speak, is in place. So let's talk about how that formation could come to be. First, we're watching the surface front that's gonna move in overnight Sunday into Monday. That's gonna be the first lifting mechanism at the surface over the land, which is looking to bring us some nice rainfall as we head into the start of the work week. So that's a snapshot of two o'clock on Monday. But notice this front is going to stall, potentially bringing us more of that moisture as we head into Tuesday. Now, if if this front does make its trajectory over the open Gulf water, that's when we could see some sort of a spin up develop over this area of rotation that happens along this main front. So what's happening here is we've got this counterclockwise flow. Think of this as little cyclones, little marching bands, kind of lifting all of the moisture that it can encounter all along the front. Well, there is plenty of moisture over the Gulf. So if this front makes it there, it's going to have a lot to work with, right? A lot to uplift. What we call this right here is positive vorticity advection. So anytime we see that counterclockwise flow, it is scooping up all of the moisture there in the vertical. What we've been having over the last few weeks is the opposite, negative vorticity advection. So it, we've been seeing a lot of that spin up towards the ground, heating things up. So now that we're gonna switch things around, now that we have a front to work with, we could potentially see some very beneficial rain. If this tropical load does form, models are suggesting it could start to retrograde. So it could scoop up all of the moisture over the Gulf and then come back into the state of Texas and potentially bring us some very beneficial rainfall, making a dent in that drought monitor. So if that does form, it has got a lot to work with. Like we talked about, the Gulf has just been cooking, sizzling over the last few weeks. We only need the water to be at 80 degrees in order for tropical development to foster. So in order for that cyclone to have that warm core, some, some warmth and some energy with it, well, guess what? The Gulf, 88, 89, 90 degrees, well above what's needed. In fact, on average, it's at 88 degrees and the maximum water temperature over the Gulf right now, 91. So that's ingredient number one. We also need the uplift. Like we just saw, that front is looking to provide the uplift at the surface, but also at the mid-levels of our atmosphere. You can see that rotation that's showing up in the models there. And it's at 500 millibars at the mid-levels of our atmosphere that we could really start to see what we talked about, that positive vorticity advection. So the generation of uplift. So the energy that the system needs in order to get the tools it needs to bring us that rotation and potentially that spillover of moisture. Right now, it, we've got about a 20% chance for that come, to come to fruition. We'll be watching it closely by the middle of the week to see if that front does in fact push towards the Gulf and it does generate that spin that counterclockwise flow that would be needed in order to see that system really scoop up the moisture that could give us a tropical type system. But for now, we'll take what we can get in terms of the rainfall. It is looking beneficial regardless of it is a surface low or a tropical low. Check it out, 50% like we talked about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, those 60s, 
Thursday, 40%, so lingering moisture potentially into the end of this coming work week. We will be giving you tropical updates throughout the weekend and, of course, into this coming work week to see how the models continue to shape up, whether they'll continue to agree on the potential for that tropical development. So just stick with us here on KHOU.